Ah, it messed up again. Okay, anyway, hi, my name is Kate, and today I'm going to explain majority subscription plans to you. Why? Because, first of all, Midjourney is fun. And second of all, because it gives you only 25 free images and then you need to buy a subscription. What should you buy? What are these plans? So let's find out. So if you want to subscribe, you can just type subscribe and it will show you the subscription page. So let's open this page and let's see what it has. Uh, we have three plans now, basic, standard and pro. And you can say, well, that's okay. I'm just going to take the basic plan and that's it. But that's not that easy. First, it's not $8 per month because it is $8 if you buy for a year. But if you want to pay monthly, it will be $10. So as you can see, the difference between all these three plans are fast GPU time and relax GPU time per month. But before we go to that, I'd like to show you this one. This is usage rights. And what it means, you can see that with basic standard or pro plan, you have general conversion terms. But with free trial, what we have is non-commercial. What it means that basically you can't use art generated by Midjourney if you use just the free trial. So if you plan to use it for your business, for anything that generates you money, you need to buy some kind of plan. And now let's go back to the GPU time. So what it is, Midjourney uses powerful GPUs, which stands for graphics processing units. This units process each prompt. And basically when you purchase a subscription to Midjourney, you are purchasing time on these GPUs. And each prompt, each image, it takes some amount of these GPUs. And the more you have, the more you can generate per month. So for example, you can see that with the basic plan, we have 3.3 hours per month of fast GPU time and none of the relaxed GPU time. That means that once Midjourney generates approximately 200 images for you, you're done. You need to wait for the next month because you don't have any relaxed GPU time. And fast mode, it gives you a GPU instantly because it has the highest priority. When you use all your fast GPU time with standard and pro plan, you still have some of the relax GPU time. And the relax GPU time, or just let's just call it relax mode, it means that your request will be placed in a queue and it will be processed as GPUs become available. So you need to wait, but your prompt, your image, it will be generated. You just need to wait. And it gives you unlimited prompts per month, unlimited images. With standard and pro plan, you can basically generate as many prompts as you wish, as many images as you need. So when choosing a plan, you need to understand why are you buying it and how many prompts, how many images do you think per month you need? And overall, the basic plan is not for you if you use Midjourney to generate many, many images. Because again, 3.3 hours per month, it's around 200 images. But the basic plan will be enough for you if, for example, you just need to generate a logo for your business. Basically, you just need a few variations of it to choose from. And then you want to use this uh, logo in your, for your business, in your commercial activity. 
and the basic plan allows you to do that in case you need many many images many many prompts yeah you will need the standard or pro plan and they are pricey also you need to know that midjourney says that in relax mode it can take up to 10 minutes to uh, do the job it also says that if you use the relax mode occasionally you will have shorter wait times compared to subscribers that have used it more and also you can actually change the modes for example you have some time available in the uh, fast mode and you have unlimited time in uh, relax mode right so you can actually change which mode to use for this job that you are doing right now you can switch between modes by just using the fast or relax comments you also can see that the pro plan has stealth mode and what it is it's a comment that prevent your images from being visible to others on the mid journey website but you need to understand that it prevents others to only see your images on the Midjourney website. Midjourney uses public channels and they are visible to others. If you don't want others to see your images, generate images in your direct messages or on a private Discord server. All right, and that's it. I hope now you understand the plans more and you can choose which one you need or do you need any of those. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you soon.